Hey, what's up? My name is Sean Moore, and today I'm going to just show you how to get started in Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial. So we're going to do a new project. So this is where we name it, and this is the location of where we save it. By default, it normally chooses uh, Adobe Premiere. Right now, we're just going to save it for the desktop. This stuff uh, we're not really going to get into right now. We're just going to keep it pretty basic. But by default, Premiere will normally save it in the Adobe Premiere folder. But if you want a specific place to save it, you can choose where. But for this right now, I'm just going to keep it on my desktop. But basically, name and location. So press OK. It opens up a new blank document. but there's nothing really here other than the menu. So the first step is we could import media. We can do that a few ways. So go down to File and Import, and then find the footage. We can do Media Browser. You can find it here. Normally, I like to just have all the clips I want and just drag and bring them in to the media bin. So now it's loading. Probably grabbed too many, but it's okay. So now I have all these bins in the media. And just to show you what the timeline looks like, let's say I'm gonna bring one in to the media bin. So here we got a video clip of Chris talking. Um, I'm wearing headphones right now, so you can't hear him talking, but we will choose a different one where it doesn't really matter if we have sound or not. But let's say we get, uh, let's see if we get a better one. Okay, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm probably just being too picky. Well, first things first, I guess. So we can adjust the, um, if we want to see more of what's in here, all these are adjustable. Um, in the source monitor, we can adjust the size, the resolution, if we want it to be full or partial, um, one half, one fourth. Um, this is the audio meter. So our video clip of Sam talking. All right, so let's just drag a clip on. A um, couple things we can go back to the reset uh, default workspace. So reset to save layout. That's how it was when we first opened. Um, right here is video track one, two, three, audio track one, two, three. These are gonna be some of um, the shortcuts tools that you'll need to know. Um, pretty much to start, we're just going to worry about the razor tool, the selection tool, uh, maybe the text tool, and uh, the ripple edit tool. A um, couple other things, uh, you can hit spacebar to play it. I'll play it back here. This is the audio levels. Um, if you want to fast forward, you can hit L. Um, and then it'll play it back faster. Or we can hit K to pause it. We can hit J to go back. J again to go faster. See how it goes faster. Double tap and see. So I thought you can kind of fast forward J, K, and L. Um, scroll down Alt. And we have our cursor over here. We can make this taller. Um, we can make this taller. You can see the audio waves right here. Um, we can also zoom out or zoom in right here. Um, this is the scrubber, the playhead. Um, I think we already went over it, but space bar is to play. Um, other two ones are uh, plus and minus on the keyboard to zoom in and out. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of zoom in and zoom out. Um, and then if you're not on this part right here, 
And you have the mouse um, over here. You can also zoom in this way, holding Alt and scrolling with your mouse. So those are just some of the uh, kind of basics. So when you click and highlight a clip on the left, you can see the effect controls, the lumen tree scopes, uh, source, the audio clip. So on the right side, we have this effects tab, essential graphics, essential sound, lumen tree color, libraries, markers, history, and info. So you see a lot of different effects here. We got some video effects, audio and video transitions. Um, got the essential sound, we got dialogue, music, sound effects, lumen tree color, so if you want to adjust the temperature, make it a little bit more warm, a little bit cooler, check, adjust the exposure, the uh, contrast, highlights, um, with all these you can just hit reset. One thing to note is the temperature and the tint doesn't get reset when you hit reset, so just hit that, make those back to zero on your own. Also, import LUTs, use different LUTs. These are the ones that kind of just came with it naturally. We will just keep it on none. So this is kind of generally where everything is. Ooh. So I double clicked that and then I hit the uh, tilde to go back. If you double click on something, there it goes full screen, I tilde it. That's how you zoom in. And then you can tilde it in to, to zoom out. So now, uh, we got this intro clip where Sam's saying, you know, welcome, it's our first ever toy drive. And giving them out to families in need. All right, so let's say we want to do a cut right here. Um, there's a couple different ways to do that. We can use the uh, keyboard shortcut for C. Uh, it's cut tool, razor tool. You just cut it. V selection, or you click this, hit delete. Control Z is undo. Um, so yeah, we'll just cut that, zoom out. Let's say we want to add some text before we start the video. Um, I might have imported too many clips. Computer is a little laggy. So when that happens, sometimes it's because the playback on resolution is too high. I have it at one half right now, so I'm going to drop it to one fourth. So we're going to—it's not going to play back in full resolution, but it should be a little bit less stress on the computer um, right now. When I'm trying to scroll through all these, you can see my computer is lagging a little bit. Um, so we got that nice intro shot. Now let's get to some maybe action shots. So let's say we want to find, uh, hmm. some shots of them giving the kids the toys. So let me find this shot right here. So we could use a uh, in and out point. So I for in, this bar O for out. Okay, I'm getting distracted. Back to us wanting to get a title before in the beginning of the video, so new. I guess we tag all. So right here we could do my first title. A couple of different ways we can adjust this. Uh, change the fonts. Uh, can it space out?
space out, make it bigger, space out the letters more. There we go. You can space out the text a little bit more by highlighting it. You can make it smaller. And if, if it was on two lines, like let's say it's like my first title, then we can adjust it that way too. So. Let's say we want to say, hey, this is, you know, the reverse toy drive. Um, so here's the texts. I'm gonna make it a still roll, crawl left, crawl right, you can do that. So let's leave it as it is right now. Um, now let's say we put it here. And let's see if we want to double check that it is centered. Oh, so we're gonna control Z. Right here. So if you want to double check that it's centered, um, you can click these two right here. Uh, so it's going to adjust it this way, centered, and then this is this way. Um, if we want to change the color, we could change that. So let's say we want to make it red because it's kind of a Christmas theme. And we want to make, move this stuff over so you can see it more. So let's do. All right, so we like, I like Bay Base now. Maybe bold, maybe. Um, if we want to add, add, add a little glimmer to it, the machine, do that. Texture. Let's just say you want to have a stroke, so we're going to add a stroke. Uh, let's say we want to make it green because it's Christmas. So we'll do green. Um, and then the size, that's going to control how thick the stroke is. So let's just say 10, no, maybe 15. Okay. So that's color. Um, now let's say you want to do inner stroke. So let's say we wanted to uh, have something that was a little bit different. Uh, maybe yellow or like a lighter color green. Or yeah, let's just go with yellow. Keep it Boom. Then we can have yellow. And kind of similar. Um, if you wanted to fill in the inside of the edges, then um, you would adjust this number here. But we'll just keep this to like, yeah, maybe, maybe five. Fill type solid. So you can do all these different kind of effects. Linear gradient, bevel. Um, kind of keep it just simple for now. Um, so yeah, that looks cool to me. So I can play back on the place space bar. Oops. So I didn't have this highlighted. Right now I have this highlighted because the blue outline around it. So we're gonna do playback and still playing. So I don't want it to play the full time. I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter. And if I just right click, we can do a default transition for cross dissolve. Hi, it's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. We have our friends at Heritage Tattoo, kind enough to let us host our first ever toy drive. Perfect. So let me cut there. That's the parking part, and then let's get some shots of the kiddos.
All right, so we got this nice little talking head intro, and we're gonna just do some jump cuts to different kids waving. Ah, uh, kids are cute. Um, sun's harsh, but let's try to find a good spot. All right, there, that works. All right, cool. And then another kiddo. Another kiddo waving. Just make it a little bit longer. Let's see. Another kid's waving. Cool. So we got like four cool clips of kids waving. And you're probably wondering, Sean, what happened? Why is the intro with Sam talking? Um, full screen, and then this next four aren't. So if we go to our effect controls, we'll click on this clip, um, we can right click. Oops, I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Right click, you can scale the frame size. This is going to scale it up. Or if you undo, you can set to frame size. Um, notice how it doubled the scale. So I always like to uh, I just like to uh, scale the frame size so it's not adjusting it or set to frame size rather, I think. Boom. Basically when this happens it's because uh, you just need to set the video clips. Uh, basically we're gonna tell Premiere, hey I want to set this to the size of the sequence that I'm working in so we can scale the frame size or set to frame size. They'll both work. So we're going to scale to frame size. All right, so now I got, got my text animation, got a little talking head, and we got a bunch of kids waving, and they're happy because it's Christmas. So next thing we're gonna do is show how to do a little keyframing. So um, this is how we can zoom in and out of the timeline. I can't remember if I, if I showed that or not. Um, so we have effect controls. So right now it's scaled to 100. You can click this, this is a keyframe. Go to the end of the clip, boom, hit another keyframe. But we're gonna change it because we wanna zoom in a little bit, it's maybe 110. So that means when we play this back, you'll see this number get larger after it passes this keyframe, going to this keyframe. Because we're zooming in to 110. Now we cut to the next clip and it's already moved on. Um, You drop this down, you can see the speed. Um, I always like to do like ease in and ease out. So, can, so it's gonna ease into it, ease out, so you'll see. Um, we can also affect the position. So let's say, um, well, I am the scale. Well, we're already doing the scale, but let's say, um, if this was hypothetically bigger, like let's say we started it on 110. So one of the things is we can always just go back. All these things are back. Let's go back. Um, so let's say it was at like 110. And it wasn't, well, let's say we wanted to make her um, perfectly centered or include more of her brother or cousin's head, whoever's behind her. We could scoot this down a little bit. So this this on the right scoots up and down. This on the left, it's left and right. This is rotate, woo! And then I want to undo all those. So we undo. But let's say we still wanted to do, you know, a keyframe and then slow, dramatic zoom in. We go here. 
Let me scroll up a little bit. And let's say we'll do that. So another keyframe here. And I'm going to go back to set the endpoint of this keyframe for the position. So let's see how it looks here. Oop. So see how as I zoom in, it's kind of bringing the frame up and to the left. So for this, I'm going to hit the back button. So it'll hide that mistake. So now it's just a nice slow zoom in, cut to the next one. And sometimes it's nice to, <coughs> excuse me, do things in uh, sequential order and uh, repetition. This one we really don't need to do it because I had we had some camera movement already. So on the next one, I want to have it zoom out. So we're going to start at 120 and then go back. I'll bring it to, I don't know, like 110. So it's, so it's nice, cool, zoom in, zoom in, zoom out. And what else? Now let's look at some of what's inside. So we got the Christmas tree, endpoint, outpoint, boom. Oh, I think I saw some toys. We got some toys. So now we added a couple shots of inside of the toys. And now we're going to see a couple people passing them up. So that shot was a little overexposed, so we'll wait on that one. There's a good one. I think. Okay, whoa, we got all those toys. So here we go. In point, out point. Boom, drag that on. Let's find a couple more. Let's say we want to show this shot here. So I'm closing it. Go right before the camera pans to the left. Um, yeah, I don't know. Cool. Got lots of frame signs. Let's go back to the beginning. My first toy drive. Hey, it's a beautiful day in Las Vegas. We have our friend's heritage tattoo. It's kind enough to let us host our first ever toy drive. Oh, so we said had a little bit of uh, black screen. But this wasn't all the way in, so you'll see if there's nothing here. So it's black. We don't want that, so we'll just drag it over. Uh, let's just say we changed our mind about the order and maybe we wanted to have all the kids waving at the end. You can highlight all these, drag them over, re highlight everything, drag it in. And maybe while she's talking, we want to uh, deselect the audio, unlink it. Um, and then 
I'm just doing that because if I wanted to, I could um, cover up the visual, but I guess maybe not even, don't even show that. And like, let's say, okay, let's say I wanted to know that this clip and this clip were from inside. We can change the color on them. So let's say we want to make them green and change the colors. And then let's say we want to do like all the giving out toys clips are going to be red or something like that. Or maybe forest. And then the ones of the kiddos are going to be uh, violet. So that's how you can change those. You can also rename them. Um, audio gain is what you do when you want to you know, increase the audio. So let's say while oh, she's talking, we want to do, uh, hear it a little bit better. We can adjust the audio. Maybe let's just say five. And increase by five decibels. Um, normally for YouTube, I'll have a, a limiter on it and export it so it goes up to about negative six. So if you don't have it at negative six, um, that's okay. But that's, there you go. So that should be better. All right, so let's say we want another uh, transition, right? So we can uh, go back to our effects, video transitions. Um, so we can do something cool like a uh, checkerboard or insert or pinwheel um, the white some, the wipe sometimes looks good so we have another wipe let's say we want to do um, another dissolve so instead of a cross dissolve maybe we want to do a dip to white drag that in here and you can adjust it like this, so we can either bring it all the way to the beginning of the first clip, so it's fast. Oops. Bring it all the way, oops. Bring it all the way to the second clip. So uh, Control C is undo uh, if you're on Windows. So definitely uh, get good at your uh, undos and redos. Um, or we can just drag this in the middle. That's just how you can adjust. Okay, so let's say you want to make it longer, you can drag it out and make it longer. But for now, we'll just go like this. Now let's say you're done with your project and you want to export it. Just go back to the beginning, do I for in. Go to the end of it. So let's say we're at the end of the video and you want to export or do file export media. That's the export window. We're exporting zero, zero through 36 seconds. Um, you can always just match it if you want. Otherwise you can go to the format, find all these presets. So if you're exporting for YouTube like this, you can do YouTube. Um, you can pick the output name. So this is where it's going. Um, so like my you can see the width and the height. Oh yeah, you're always going to want to save, by the way, so if you're saving regularly, 
Um, I just would, you know, pretty much you can leave everything as is because we're using a preset. Um, if you want, you do BR, B, BBR two paths, um, but it's really up to you. Um, that might give it just a little bit more quality that you're looking for. And then when you export, it'll show you how much time is remaining. And congrats, you just exported your first video. Oh, it looks like I exported it in the wrong folder, but that's okay. Um, always save regularly while you're working. You never wanna you know, make a lot of progress and then have it saved. Um, thanks for watching and uh, hope you got a lot out of this lesson and we will see you soon.